So Sphira, Sphira is a, um, it really is based, it seems, on the, the Crusades. In other words, the morning of Sphira did not exist at the time of the Gemara. And the Ramban says that the time of Sphira is really like a Cholamoid. It's a long Cholamoid from Pesach to Shavuos. But um, at the time of the Crusades, the terrible massacres occurred during these days of Sphira. Really? Oh. Yes, in Shpira, Vermeiser, and Magenza. Every Crusade? No, the ones which are the, 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 the Kilo Chum. Shum stands for spiro, spire, spire uh, verms, vermiza, which is worms, and magenso, which is mites. So all these three towns were decimated and no, massacred. Geez. Not actually, no, really only hundreds. But for that time, it was, it was bad. Hundreds was bad, for, for, especially because, because there are very few Jews in Europe. But we're talking about in Germany. Very few Jews were in Germany. And besides that, these were real, a lot of them were very big Balitaisis, right? These are the grandchildren of Rashi. So these were big These are big guns. These are terror cities? Yes. Yes, these are major terror cities. So, so I mean the word the name Shapiro, which is one of the most common Jewish names, comes from Spire. No. Spire? Yeah. 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 Oh, it's like it's spelled in English S P E Y E R. So it has no shaykh to sapir in Hebrew. No. The um. So the uh, so, in fact, in German kihilos, of harachamim, which we say before Musaf, is only recited during the time of Sphira. Why? They don't recite it the rest of the year, because that's the Iker time of mourning for which Avraham is composed. Avraham is composed for the Crusades. So therefore, it's the time to say is during Sphira. So what happened, and I don't know how this developed, so I'm sure historically there's some way of tracing it, I just never went and looked into it, is as a result of that great tragedy, those great tragedies, they tapped into the Mesora, which is already in the Gemara, but which the Gemara has no halakhi ramification, that the 24,000 Talmudim of Rabbi Akiva died during that time. And they were Misakin Minhage Avelus for Sphira as a result. Did anybody not keep these things? No, it's interesting that it spread even to Sephardi countries. <laughs> because you. Uh, uh, what? It was, yeah, it was in Germany. But uh, obviously, this is since so many Tsaris befell the Jews, so the Sephardi most of us. Crusades, the whole morning thing? Yeah. Not cutting air, not listening, not listening yeah. to you. Yeah, yeah. And that's with the base and English or anything? Of, no. Of, you know. No, Sphere has nothing to do with that. So why is everybody telling me? So well, let me finish the whole thought before. Too. Because they tapped into that. Because, you know, if you're searching for a cause, why great Tamid HaChachamim are killed during this period, and you have a cause in the Gemara, right? Great right? People are killed because uh, they're not, not knowing covered. They were there. Right? Uh, are we saying that the, 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 the Balta supposed and Mines also didn't have a... We don't know, but at least but there's something... There's a correlation. But there's a good thing to be Masaki. Maybe they were, maybe they were, maybe they weren't, but let's work on this. No so why everybody went with the questions, let them finish the whole thought. So, <laughs> so, <laughs> so since this is all Minog, that's why there are these, these some uh, very, very um, curious, the word I'm looking for is... Um, and people who hold them Yeah, yeah, yeah. But the word, the, there's a special, specific English word I'm looking for. Formulations? No, no. Or the, like an adjective. Um, Formative? I don't know what you're doing. It's a word, a word like bizarre, but a positive word. Anomalies? Yeah, yeah anom anomalies maybe. It's the singularities. Singularities. There's singularities here in Halacha, such as we had it this year, that even those who keep the first sphera, can shave when Erev Shabbos comes on Rosh Chodesh. But not if you hold the Rebbeinu Chassid. Yes, not if you hold Rebbeinu Chassid. <laughs> but if you hold, if you hold like Rebbeinu Chassid, then you can shave when Erev Shabbos comes on Rosh Chodesh. <laughs> Who shaves the Chav? Why have to shave the Chav on Rosh Chodesh, right? But that begins the minute. 
<laughs> also, I shave every week for what? Flexible, right? right, other people also. Well, uh, what? I know it's it's far, the Sfarim. I'll pick up all of them much more machmir on these days, but the, the Apikabola thing is really based on the Cholamoid. No, no, no! The, the, the all of Sphere and the Makhbi, the Minaga, the Minaga of the Cholam is not to shave at all during Sphere. Even, even during the days which are, so to speak, not Sphere, because uh, of the Kabbalistic issues of the, you know, yeah. like being like Cholamoid. Okay, so Cholamoid, you don't shave, right? So there's this element of Cholamoid here as well. In any event, so getting back to the idea of um, the cause, so therefore everything is a custom. Since everything is a custom, so therefore it's, it's much more flexible, and that's why we can have this, again, a singularity in that some people only start Sphere on Rosh Chodesh uh, yeah. ER, and some people end Sphere already on Lamed Dalet Ba'omer. And nowadays, in people, since, they're, they're, since it's of such a long block of time, people make weddings up to Rosh Chodesh ER. And people begin make way, making weddings again after Lag Ba'omer. And so, so therefore, what once were times when people didn't make chasnas, people make chasnas nowadays, and there's no issue of also large gatherings. You would not make a dinner, you can't make a, 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 a dinner in of, really in three weeks, three weeks, but in of for sure, right? You had drinks for So Omer is when most of the big dinners take place. You know why? Because you can't make a wedding, so therefore they ex- to exploit the time yeah, to make dinners. <laughs> yeah. So the um, so all this is because it's based on a minuk, which tapped into the pre-existing Masora. and that pre-existing Masora, of course, swept the, brought along with it the whole concept of Lag Omer. and that tapped into again a pre-existing hetzer, which is a pre-existing. I mean, a pre-existing. Uh, 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 rationalization, rationalization is the wrong word, pre-existing rationale, which is that it's the Yom of the Hilula of Rishim Gamliel, of Rabbi Shem Barichai. So therefore, it became, again, uh, because of the Minog, and how the Minog was set about, this became a time when people get haircuts. How do we call Minog from the, from the times of the Crusades, before, before we deal with Rabbi Shem Barichai? Beforehand, you would make, you could make a, 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 a Yom Tif on the Yom of Rishim Barichai, but it's not, co- not put down as code anywhere in Aloha. Right? Yeah. Now, after they accepted Sphira, it became codified in Aloha, this Lagwa Mermel. Why did they make up this thing called Lagwa Mermel Sphira? What? Because the whole thing is made up. That veil is made up, so therefore there's not a problem either. I know, so why did they make up a day of Simcha in the middle of the, Why not have a straight period of mourning? Everybody needs a break. So they just made it up. And besides that, the 30, nobody keeps all of Sphira except for the Mokubalim. Most people just keep 33 days of Sphira. Ralph Einstein. 34 for the entire time, did he? Yeah, what? Ralph Einstein, because of the program that happened, he was kind of on that time, at that time, didn't he? Yeah, it could be. The entire could, time? Could be. So, I well, just want to block a point. It, the, some of the, um, the new stuff of the Sphira account involves Tachanun and things of that nature. Do you not say those on Erev Shabbos? Like, no, you can say it. Because they're, they're not for Bogashmias, they're for Ruchmias. Okay, so, so you can say, you say the whole thing. Yeah. I'm... Now, one second, one more thing about Spiro, which is, that that's why we have, uh, 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 again, m- many more post game are makel in various different aspects of Spiro than they would be during the three weeks. Because it's only a minug, whereas the three weeks are Dina de Gemara. Even there, we're from much more Machmir than the Gemara when he tells us to be Machmir. Because tomorrow it says all the prohibitions don't start with Shiva Sarbatamas, they start on Rosh Chodesh Shav, right? Or Shavu Shachav Bot right? That's part of it, right? What? No, they start, they start, they start for three weeks also. No, we don't know. Why? Something Why? Like, uh, you don't make chasnas after Shiva Sarbatamas. Trust no, me. We don't, we don't know. Yeah, okay. But the yeah. whole thing that listening to you is in the with these stars there. No. No? This is reading me. No, no, no. Reading me, yes, that's one. That, that's the one. We don't start. Uh, okay. Yeah, we don't start. It's a week of everyone does Shrua Shachapa. I never heard of a swap who says they don't do Shrua Yeah, that's one of the problems when you do that. Uh, so, uh, uh, I have a question before. about right, right. having a Rebbe. Because this wait, is... wait, let's finish. Wait. Any more questions about Sphira? Yes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Um, what are the three fillers that we say? The, or what are the things that we say after counting Sphira? So, why should you say that? Ritzvah, don't say it. 
No. Oh, good thing. Do I say that Rahman? Yes. Okay. Well, Perfect. I, I was doing the right thing the whole time. I wasn't sure. I, 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 what was the whole Why Libas not say? Because it's it's Kabbalistic. Okay, wait, could I just say? It's, yeah. Um, I heard. I don't know. I want to know if this is true or false. Um, uh, is it true that some people say that instead of dying of Oscar, what happened was that some of the Talmudim of Rabbi Akiva. Help. It's nonsense. It's sheer nonsense. What, what, is, it? what is the proof? What is nonsense? It's conjecture, a speculation yeah. based on no legitimate source. What is this nonsense? That the 24,000 Tamir and Kiva really died because they, they fought in battle against the Romans. <laughs> I yeah. heard it was rather the, 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 the idea. The same that, people say about the Mice and Menebrak in the Agora, you know that. What, what Mice and Menebrak? That they were planning the revolt. When they're up all night in Nebrak, they weren't talking about Jesus, yeah. right? They were planning to revolt against the Romans. Oh, that's not what I heard. When they went to Rome, they traveled, they went the whole night to Rome to speak to the Roman emperor. On Pesach? But that's not what no, before, before Pesach. It was in his and they came back on time, and then the whole night they stayed up. That's what I heard. I don't know. Yeah, so th there's an alternative version of the story, which is that. You know, they were planning the rebel re rebellion. That's not what the shop right Haggadah says. No, it's really not what the shop right Haggadah says. <laughs> yes. okay. But I can tell you where you will find it. You'll find it in the uh, the rabbinical <laughs> Assembly of America Haggadah, which I, I have see. at home. Wait, who, who are they? Conser <laughs> conservative. I see that. <laughs> rabbinical Assembly. Oh, so, all right. Um, yeah. Uh, oh yeah. The, the, Any more sphere questions? One. Wait, 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 yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. I still have one question. Go ahead. That. So why should we ever be ma'achon in regards to the halachas of sphere? And also, why would why would why would Rabbanon write chuvas about it? First of all, anything which became a minig is all there. Chuvas about kidneys too, right? Okay. It's also minig. Right. All right. But why should we mock If there's one, if there's any sheet that says that I can continue, come up with the bracha after I miss a day, two days a week, the that's whole different because there's an isa bracha vatol which is nothing to do with sphira. So, but if I decide that I can jump back into sphira according to this one, one the one opinion, then why not? Because bracha vatol sphira sum is only a minute. So the counting is a minute. The bracha so is the the raisa. So how? Why are we making the bracha? The because they are misaki in a bracha. Okay, so then there's one opinion that says I can make a bracha. So the rabbanon, by the way, it's not. I, 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 you know, take that back. I'm making a mistake in the way I'm answering you. The sphere of sphere zomer is a mitzvah the rabbanon. According to chinuch, it's the raisa. According to most rishonim, it's a mitzvah the rabbanon. Counting. The counting, not the minhagi avelus. Minhagi avelus is totally uh, separate. Is a, is a, is a, uh, the rabbanon. This is Durabanan. Yeah. Salmon. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I heard this whole thing about that yeah. we're counting up to, yeah, we're counting up from up in Torah and, yeah, it's your own personal kind of, oh yeah, because the law of Durabanan holds that you continue your own count, right? Yeah, you have your own screw of stuff. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Very cool. Yes, for your question? Well, regarding the reason why the 24,000 tell me to move of these people like that, I heard from the uh, Vigna Robin Pasek, or I heard through somebody who went to his share of his, a couple years ago, that the, the the exact form of their not showing respect to each other had to do with they were interrupting each other's words. And now we know, it, you know there's some things that's said about that in Perkyavos, but is that is that a good is, is that something you've seen a source for, or have you ever heard no. of that? No, uh, I have not. What does uh, that mean? Question uh, uh, What? What do you mean, Shiloh Kavazel? Shiloh Nogu Kavazel. Shiloh Nogu Kavazel, is that? Well, they threw beer bottles at each other? No, actually, it gives an example where one of Rabbi Kiva's students, not there, but elsewhere, I think, where Rabbi Kiva's students became sick. I know he went to be in Mabakar Chalim until Rabbi Kiva himself went. Because there's the Brutal Torah, Rabbi. Okay, so is that misplaced, uh, you know, uh, Oh, the priorities. this is coming for Torah. Why is nobody giving me a run? Not in all mitzvahs. Only mitzvahs have to do with being a Baal Moser. Rabbi, question. And sphere. So, okay. So okay. What's with the whole sphere? The 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 netzach sheva chasod. Each one of those is a meter. Actually, is a very nice book written by Rabbi Yaakov Haber about e which meter you're supposed to work on each day, which corresponds to the thing. Do you actually work on something? Like this? What? Yeah, you, you actually have to work on something. I have never done it, but with, that would be the ideal. The ideal is you, alternatively, you take the forty-eight ways shatz or nicknames by him. And they correspond to the first 48 days of Sphira. And the 49th is being all of them together. Really? 
Yeah, so there are many different interpretations of that. So what what are we doing with those? And why are we going up spheres? And what does that mean? By ask, you know, we have a principle that we, when we dive in, even if we don't know what we're saying, by invoking the prayer, we make tikkunim in the higher realms. So therefore, when I say that uh, 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 through this, yushpa shefarav, right? There's real life influence. I'm saying, I don't understand what chesed shebe chesed exactly means. But I know that this is a way, one of the ways in which you, I relate to Hashem, then Hashem relates to me. So there, <laughs> it is very Hasidic. The literature don't say this. Right? Oh. <laughs> what? No, they don't say the Shem Yichud either, but they don't say they don't say the Rebbeinu Shalom at the end. Yes. Yeah. So is more Sphira? No. What about the Goldman? The eight? Can we say Sphira? Sphira is still about Sphira. Yeah. So you know, there's a Chesed, a Chesed, word of a Chesed. It seems like we're supposed to work on that Mina for that particular day, but it doesn't really say how how you're supposed to work on the Mina when you don't even know what it means. I mean, like, unless it, like, automatically takes place within you during the... Right, this is a very good argument for studying basic Kabbalah. So, I should study basic Kabbalah? Yes. <laughs> what, is the, what, is right, the, right, what is the best text to study basic Kabbalah? Yeah. Mystical Concepts in Hasidus by Rabbi Jacob Emanuel Shachet. Rabbi, have so, so what, are, what are the... I'm saying, Stam, what are these, are, are these sphere things? I mean, what, are these? what is Malchus Shabbat Shabbat Netzach? What is that? The Malchus Netzach. The Netzach is a sense of eternity. A sense of eternity. Netzach means it's forever and ever. So there is, in Netzach, in the sense of eternity, which means for a person to take the long view of things, and to see that there is, there's ultimate purpose towards which everything is going, even if in the current present I can't see that, right? And things which are not fixed yet will be fixed in the future, right? So there's taking that netzach, that midah of netzach, which is midah of Moshe Rabbeinu, which is his midah because... Farsightedness. Farsightedness, and he looked, he saw, literally, according to Chazal, everything which will take place in human history, Right? So you're taking that long, long, long term focus and using it to bring Hashem's kingship into the world. Machu Shabbat means either to yourself or to the rest of the world to say, I understand how everything works out. But everything does work out and there's a purpose for it. There's a reason why it happens the way it does. Sounds strange, you know, like uh, Chobos Lavavos and his focus on middos and what you're supposed to reflect on. Why would it be strangely like? It's the, uh, he, was, he was not a Kabbalah. Kabbalah you know, a Kabbalah is a system of Avedas Hashem, just like any other system. Okay. It just so uses a different so, code. It's not so far out there. Though. No, it has their, their esoteric things as well, but their Kabbalah has a, has a Muslim shot to it. Now, I was showing an MTA recently, a movie, a series, a BBC series about, the, it's called Life in the Undergrowth. It's about the insect world. It's, it's, it's amazing, the Niflo Saboire, which, which, which exists. And people ask, the kids ask me, well, sure, look, clearly it's not evolution. But what was the reason Hashem made things this way? Hashem made it, for example, that the larvae of, the larvae of, a certain kind of beetle, which lives in Death Valley in California, it can, it can, can, can go make a huge ball of themselves, hundreds of them, and they make the smell, they, they, they give off the smell of a female bee of a certain species, and the male bee comes, and, and no, the male bee comes to mate with this ball of larvae, and these larvae, they just attach themselves to the male bee who then flies somewhere where they, they're supposed to be in order for them to grow up into big beetles. It sounds like a cosmic Rube Goldberg yes. cartoon. There's a certain, <laughs> there's a certain bug, a certain bug which, lay, which, which lays eggs which are parasitical, which it wants to attach to a cow, wants to, which is programmed or want to attach to a cow for them to burrow into the cow skin and suck the blood of the cow until they're, re they're mature. But it knows that the cow will not let it land because it's too heavy and the cow's tail will swish it off. So it captures a housefly, 
You could see this on the movie. It captures the housefly and puts its eggs all over the housefly. And then the housefly flies to the cow, and the heat of the cow's body opens up the eggs so the larvae can come out and infest the cow. And that's... It's incredible. I mean, it's yeah, so amazing. I've, heard, I've heard of things like this, like this but not, not such a, an extended process. Yes. Well, have you heard of... Have you There's heard, a wasp. That's genius. There's a wasp. Oh, the wasp one, like with the ants? With a spider. With an orchard spider. There's a wasp. There is wasp and spider ants thing. So, but this one, there's a wasp which lays its egg on the back of a spider. And the spike, it's, you know, it obviously has a parasitical existence. It keeps on drawing the juices out of the spider. So finally, it, it, it grows and grows. And the spider's just going about its life normally, building these beautiful webs, you know, and it's in its beautiful patterns. Finally, one day, the, the, the larvae was, is ready. It injects a poison into the spider, which makes the spider go crazy. It can no longer spin a straight web. So it, it's got, it, and the spider is, it's, it is, just spins like a glob of, a glob of, um, of strands. And this larvae crawls into this, uh, first the larvae, it sucks out all the juices from the spider. Everything they show us in the movie. How it's, it has a special, besides the poison, it has a special tube it sticks in to stick, suck out all the juices of the spider. The they Amazing the cameras. And then it, it forms a cocoon from all these strands which the, 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 the spider left, enters the cocoon, and comes out a wasp. That's incredible. And then it just goes to repeat the same thing somewhere else. Uh, 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 so, bro, that's crazy. There's also a video on, on like a nature channel. They did like an experiment with a, with a bird. I forgot what type of bird it was, but they gave it some sort of plot. Uh, they had it like a... With a with a with a bait like you know to get to it like they had they did a bunch of different experiments like putting a bowl over the bait or putting like a, a, a saucer with a hole in it to see if it could actually like go to the angle and get the the bait or whatever and then eventually they just made the hole they made made like a saucer with a hole in it a tiny hole in the bait underneath and they made the hole too small for the, for it to go with the beak but they also gave it like a small pliable sort of reed or something. And and the, eventually the bird took the reed, bent it over into a, into a hook, dipped it down with its beak into the into the into the bait, pulled the bait out, and ate it. Yeah, no, that, this is, I, I really we should show this video in our Samach, but it's you know, a, the five it. sections, each of which is fifty minutes long. I don't know which. Uh, Every Thursday, Rabbi. Yeah. We have a so, so, Call the Shar Bechina side. Yeah. yeah. So uh, okay, anything about this? Has so uh, so the, the one second. Let me, why are we bring this up? Because that's how, you, how are we supposed to understand this? Why did Hashem make things so intricate? The first, the first primitive understanding is well, Hashem wanted to show off, right? Right? That's Hashem wanted to demonstrate. Hashem wanted to demonstrate what He can do, which is pretty, pretty neat, right? And uh, but the second thought is that it, 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 it indicates, the complexity indicates there must be a creator because for all these mechanisms to evolve, it's simply impossible. And then you multiply that by all the different insects and all the different animals and all the different mechanisms which exist, it's compounded so many times, it's impossible to exa- imagine that it evolved on their own. But in Netzach, that means that, like the Rambam says, you can have a palace which was built by somebody at some point in time in India, which then lasted for hundreds of years, which could only, which was put there for the purpose of some tzaddik once walking by, he has to rest in the shade, he rests in the shade of the palace. And that gives it a purpose in Netzach. And besides that, this, these, all these things in nature could have been put there so that in the year 2009, the MTA seniors could watch it and be spoiled from what kind of Bria Kodesh Baruch Hu made. And they put, but whenever they're put there for that purpose, or, or if all else fails, are we have talking that everything we have an emuna, I should say, that everything will be explained to us in all of In other words, that's part of all of is understanding all the purposes of all these things which occur. So that's netzach. Malchus sheba netzach means to take that concept of netzach and use it to create malchus.
which is different than say hod shebenetzach, hod shebenetzach, uh, I'm sorry, malchus shebehod, right? Malchus shebehod would mean that I take the majesty of Torah and use that majesty to impose malchus Hashem, right? Which is going to be different than malchus shebechesed, right? Which means that I use the midah of chesed in order to bring malchus Hashem to the world. So those are just uh, some basic examples of what... Well, chesed is Malchus is a different thing. In other words, that the, by Malchus Hashem, unlike another kind of Malchus, which is not necessarily going to be a Malchus of Chesed, right, because most, most Malchios are uh, selfish and, and, uh, and, uh, and egocentric, Malchus Hashem is a Malchus of Chesed, right? So in other words, you use... If you have true Malchus Hashem, then it makes you uh, have, have chesed towards other people. That's ch- uh, uh, chesed Shem Malchus. You know, you get so much out of Yeah, but I don't. I don't think about it. I just only when you chat when you ask me, then I actually think about it. No, I don't do this. I'm, I'm a superficial kind of guy after all. Said it done. Uh-huh. Okay, the Adnei I saw that very quickly. No, no, forget about it. I don't care. What? I have a question to you now. That's it. I, I gotta to leave. I'm gonna well, get. I get in trouble when this happens. No. Yes. Uh, I want to understand this tomorrow. This again, we're going to do tomorrow. 